Hi everybody, my name is Dallin, and I like to be safe on the bus, and I want you to be safe too. Just like learning to do that takes some practice, learning to be safe on the school bus takes some practice too. So let's board the bus together and pay attention. Knowing the safety rules of the bus could save a life. Again, my name is Lance. I'm your bus driver today. I want to go over just a few rules to be safe. My bus driver and buddy, Lance, says whenever you ride the bus to and from school or on a field trip, it's important to know and follow the rules. Here's how to get on the bus safely. When you're waiting in line, stay at least five big steps away from your bus. We have what we call a danger zone around the bus that we want the children to be aware of so that they don't drop things or have things fall under the bus. If something does fall under the bus, never try to get it yourself. Ask the bus driver for help. When you board the bus, be nice and don't be a bully. Use this handrail so you don't trip or fall. Being courteous and respectful of the people around you and uh, no pushing or shoving in, in, when you're getting on the bus and in, when you're in line. Once you find a seat, stay there and don't stand up. Standing up, probably, it could be the worst thing. Uh, we want them to always be seated uh, on the buses. Uh, it's the safest place to be so that uh, if we have to make a sudden stop, uh, they're safe in their seat. This is how you're supposed to sit in the bus. And hey, no feet in the aisles. No leaning over the seat, no sticking your head out the window, and no swinging. Always be nice on the bus. Use your classroom voices and don't fool around or cause trouble. Because if you do, you're gonna get caught. The bus driver is watching. We have video cameras as well where we can check to make sure what's going on. So what can I bring on the bus? My rollerblades, my ripsticks, my lunch, my scooter? Kids bring their backpacks, uh, they bring their lunches, they have their book bags, small projects. All those things are appropriate and fine. We don't want them to bring any of their pets. Uh, <laughs> I tell them don't bring any skunks. Keep your stuff out of the aisle. Don't block emergency exits, the doors, or steps with things you bring on the bus. Keep the bus clean. No tossing candy wrappers or leaving other garbage around. So who should be ready to spring into action if there's an emergency on the bus? You should. We need to evacuate the bus as quickly as possible. If there is an emergency on the bus, you need to know how to use the radio. This is the two-way radio. You take the mic, push the button, and let them know if you need help. You also need to know how to use the emergency brake. What if the bus driver is hurt and can't stop the bus himself? You can't stop the bus. This is the emergency brake. If you pull it out, the bus will come to a slow stop. And remember, there's always a first aid kit on the bus and a fire extinguisher if you need it. You turn this knob, there's your fire extinguisher and your first aid kit. In an emergency, this is how you get off or evacuate the bus. You can use the front door or an emergency exit. The bus driver, adults, and classmates will help, like this. Don't jump down by yourself. If you have to cross in front of the bus, do it in a crosswalk. Stop and look left, right, and left again before crossing. If we all work together and follow the rules, kids and adults will be safe on the bus. And if you're lucky enough to go on a field trip, the bus driver will always remind you what the bus number is when you're getting off, what time the bus will pick you up, and where to find your bus after your activity is over. And after your fabulous field trip is over, it's always a good idea to thank your bus driver. And there you have it. Follow some simple rules and we can all be safe on the bus. Woo! Yeah!